three pedal riff. <laughs> Let's just end the demo right there because that's what this pedal does. That was just this pedal and me manipulating the toggle switch. That is what this pedal does. Have no fear. That's what this pedal does. This is my clean tone. That clean tone is acceptable clean tone. It is very acceptable. I'd play gigs with that clean tone. It's a Fender uh, Tele Pro Deluxe going through a Supro Plus Rattlesnake Cables, a Gravity Pick. Gravity, 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 gravity. And uh, uh, there's a gentleman. His name is Brian. He makes these pedals. He's an awesome dude. These pedals are awesome. Expect nothing but awesome slash weird slash awesome. Uh, but m mainly my main my main thing with all the sub decay pedals is they're all very usable. Uh, they all get a little weird, but they are all usable. Every pedal's usable. These pedals are exceptionally usable. Ten out of ten on usability. Speaking of usability, that's what this does. filter in here that's uh that's responding to uh it's uh, it's a lfo i'm sh assuming and it's this knob is telling the pedal where the last where the last note is going to be how low it's going to go Sense the sensitivity. It's the sense knob. So if it's all the way down, you're not gonna go, it's not gonna open up that filter all the way to that high note. It's gonna put you wherever the frequency is. So it becomes with the sensitivity down, it becomes a sweet, sweet distortion pedal. A little bit of cocked wah, if you will, but also... Okay, now that that said, I have the blend knob all the way over. That is this sound. The blend knob all the way over here is just a sweet, awesome, dark. I guess it's not that dark. <laughs> I misspoke. Almost use that as a big muff. And then you can obviously gain knob for this volume and this and this blend is going between 
essentially these two pedals. I'm sure I'm explaining, I'm sure I'm simplifying that too far, but that's pretty close to what it is. Then, you can put them together. Together. See, there you can hear it going all the way to that bottom sub, but, but, but you still have your tone as opposed to, I mean, and again, this is not, I'm not saying having your tone is a good thing. Sometimes having your tone, ha not having your tone is a great thing. <laughs> Again, if you have the sensitivity all the way down, put your blend here, pick your frequency here. You can blend in how much of that you want. Chucks. The chucks become so amazing. Oh, come on. Wait. So if I have that. Oh, we have a winner. So that's what that does. You can get a ton of those different tones out of there. Love it. This is another one from Sub Decay. We'll focus on this one later, but we're going to add that because this is a three pedal riff. So we're going to put three pedals together, try to come up with a sound. This is a vibrato that has an LFO as well. So takes the attack, which controls the speed. pick the, the the higher it starts and so if you play a little quieter it'll keep it at that low speed oh yes yes Again, 10 out of 10 on the usability scale. This is on the this is on the the higher end side of the of the ridiculous, but it's still in the usability category. And it's fun. Oh, right on. OK, 
Okay, that's the Siren from Sub Decay. And we also have from Earthquaker, Earthquaker, Earthquaker devices. We have the Spatial Delivery. Spatial Delivery. Um, which does a couple different things. It does, it does the quacky uh, envelope filter. It also does the reverse. Oh, it also does a sample and hold feature. Which is why I bought it to begin with. And because of the similarities between these two pedals, bloop, 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 and the similarities between these two pedals, and the similarities between these two pedals, putting this all together, makes it go nuts. 